What's going on, everyone? Mike O back, the mail day recap. Be showing off a sweet stack of mail here. You know what it is lately, Philly stuff, a couple football cards, but this is gonna be a lot of color, some new products, maybe even a little super fractor action. So should, uh, should be a fun mail day. So make sure you stay tuned to it. Um, but before we get to it, it's just an exciting part of the year. Spring is oh so close, and we see that in many different facets. In terms of collecting, baseball card seasons here. 2023 Top Series 1 has been released. So that's always a fun product. I always look forward to it. I love that base stuff. Um, and it's, it's the most popular set of the year, hands down. The core collectors, the hardcore collectors, a lot of the people are on YouTube, they're going to point to some of these high-end products, but the most collected product is Series 1. Print it to the moon, perhaps, but people will buy it. People collect it. You see it in single sales um, and people completing sets, whether it's base sets, team sets, insert sets. People are really into that product, and I think it's fun. I've enjoyed it. Um, no real complaints about it. Is it perfect? Would I prefer there to be a little easier to get hits? Of course, that's the way every product is. I say, I think, at least from my experience, is more value in Series 1 than the majority of products released during the year um, because people want it. People want all the different factors. Obviously, you want, in terms of overall value, you know, a low-numbered parallel of a big rookie, that's where you're going to see big money. But, I mean, there's a lot of team and player collectors that are chasing that set. So I, th I think it's fun. So you have that weather slowly getting a little warmer. Spring training, of course. Uh, pitchers and catchers reported last week. Exhibition games have begun. That's always fun. That first exhibition game you watch, just to like take a step back and see it and see him playing on the field, it makes you like realize, like, oh my goodness, we're getting really close to real baseball. World Baseball Classic's coming up. That should be exciting. Should be a lot of fun. Competitive baseball. And these players care. Um, there's a lot of passion in it. I remember four years ago and before that, just uh, some really fun series. So I look forward to watching some of that. Am I like hardcore invested? Not really, but am I interested? Will I watch it? Of course. Uh, but the Phillies uh, obviously coming off that incredible 2022 playoff run has you kind of extra jazzed up. Uh, I'm always psyched up for baseball season, but this year just should be an extra bit of fun. So it's really uh, exciting. So can't wait for baseball to begin and can't wait to show you this sweet stack of cards. There's uh, some nice stuff for the collection. So let's flip the camera around and take a look at what I picked up recently. All right, taking a look at what we got here is going to be crazy shine. So in the words of my buddy, Tops85401, you might want to get your sunglasses out, put your sunglasses on, because there's going to be a lot of shine. Not with this first card, but within this stack. I know my Phillies friends are going to really enjoy this one, and I think the big-time baseball collectors and fans and appreciators of cards and collecting will get a kick out of it as well. First up is a Topps Now Scott Rowland Baseball Hall of Fame card. Topps Now does it, so of course I picked some of these up. Pretty cool. He will be, uh, I believe he's going to have the Cardinals hat in the Hall of Fame, but pretty even in terms of numbers and time with the Phillies and the Cardinals. Won a World Series in St. Louis, of course, but Scott Rowland, a very underappreciated player, even after being elected to the Hall of Fame. All right, we got some shine. We got the bum shine. So this is just, so this was a two card lot I picked up. Uh, Familia. He was brutal with the Phillies last year. He was not with them in the postseason. He got released in like July or so. Just really, really struggled. Had some very good years in New York with the Mets, but kind of lost it. Went, ended up going to Boston, struggled there as well. But this is a Topps Chrome Update Sapphire Gold Refractor, serial number to 50. So it's always fun to kind of have a laugh about those guys. This is a green refractor, which I'm not crazy over the green refractors, but this lot was crazy cheap. Number to 75, Brad Hand, another guy who had some really good years, had some all-star seasons out of the bullpen for other teams. 
Not great for the Phillies, but not terrible. He was on the postseason roster, pitched some big innings. Um, had some strong success during the course of the season, um, but was kind of injured and had some issues towards the end. But Brad Hand, looks like a Christmas card there with the red and green. All right, we should get into some little higher quality stuff here coming up. Let's do the uh, slabs real quick. We got one baseball slab and we've got two football. We'll show off the football first. So I got a pair of Tom Brady's from 2003 Tops Finest. Really like the look of 2003 Finest. Picked up this SGC 9.5 Mint Plus. This one actually came from Nolan Elite Co. 3 on eBay. Ended up winning his auction. It's a cool card there. And then I just happened to run into another auction for the CSG 9.5 Mint Plus. Picked that one up. CSG cases look really good. Unbelievably clear plastic, sturdy slabs. Do like the size of them. Um, a little, they feel like a stronger PSA slab. And the label right on there with SGC. So I think you can't go wrong with either of them. Of course, PSA is the most popular, by far the most difficult to deal with, um, and the longest turnaround time, but still sweet. Definitely uh, enjoy their slabs as well. This is from 2021 Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary. It's a Mike Schmidt X Fractor Mint 9, so a fine 9. X Fractors, love the look of them, like the look of that card. Really enjoyed Platinum Anniversary um, from a singles perspective. Breaking was brutal, specifically if you pre-ordered or paid early. Um, now you can get the boxes at pretty affordable prices. Uh, they are doing a 2023 version, which is going to be 53 tops. I'm a huge fan of 53 tops, so I'll probably pick some of them up. Might open some if I can get them at the right price, but they should be substantially lower than last year. Anyway, Mint 9 on the Mike Schmidt. Like that card. Rest of this stuff is raw. Some of it will be going off for grading. Most of it should be some shiny stuff. This is from 2022 Tops Finest. Finest Greatest Moments, I believe. Finest Something Years. I, I forget the name of this insert. It's a die cut. This is a, a tough parallel. This one I got really cheap. Uh, I forget what they call it. Something with a K, long K name. Uh, they're like one in thousands of packs. I probably got this one for only a few dollars, honestly. And this is a gold refractor, which costs a little more because there's serial number to 50. Pretty sure the print run on this one is substantially lower. Anyway, a couple of my, uh, Bryce Harpers for the collection. Uh, memorializing his 2021 MVP season. He's a red parallel number to five, which I would love to get, but might be a little while before I come across one at a good price. Uh, and then the base insert I got to grab. So those are two cool pickups there. Let's uh, save that one. Get into a few others. More shine. This is from Finest Flashbacks, another set I enjoyed. This is number 215. I believe it's the Rose Gold Refractor of Bryson Stott. Good young player. We'll see. Um, how he develops, but he looked really good in his first year. He has a chance to start every day from the beginning this year. He will be the second baseman, which is what he played coming up through the minors. Last year, he mostly played shortstop. So Bryson Stott, rookie refractor. We've got a 1988 relic from 2023 tops of Reese Hoskins. I'm not a huge fan of the relic cards. Like I get some, like I've gotten a few, uh, I got like a Harper and stuff while breaking boxes. I'll keep them, uh, the major league material, but I do like the retro designed relics a little more and I'll pick them up at the right price. So Reese Hoskins, here is a fun relic. This is from 2002 Donruss. Spirit of the game, game used hats, Brandon Duckworth. He was very popular in Philadelphia for a while. It's serial number 97 of 100. They had the duck pond guys up in the upper deck dressed up as ducks celebrating when he pitched. He had some okay years. Uh, this specific card is definitely a little beat up, but that's fine. I mean, it only cost a couple dollars. It has corner damage down there. Got some kind of pinhole issues going on. But uh, 
this is a cool card I wanted to pick up. I saw it somewhere and someone had it listed really high. Um, and then I found this one beat up for just a couple dollars. Love the design of the card. And just one of those guys, a guy you have kind of memories of. I remember him coming up, being at some Phillies events and stuff with some family members and meeting him and stuff. He's uh, been a scout for quite a while too. I know he's with the Yankees organization for quite a while. I'm not sure if he's still doing that, but fun little nostalgic pickup there. More shine. We get a blue refractor from 2021 tops Allen and Ginter Chrome. It's a blue refractor of Aaron Nolan, numbered to 150. These refractors, some of them look all right, but they just, I don't know, it doesn't have the shine you would like. Hopefully there'll be a little more shine associated with 2022 Topps Allen and Ginter Chrome, which is one of the many products still slated to come out this year. So, or come out from last year. So we'll see. I think they did a little better job on the 2020 product. Here's a Bryce Harper from Brooklyn Collection. That's from the 2021 edition. I honestly think I have this card, but this is a product super expensive. You probably get five to 10 cards for two, three hundred dollars. If I can get one of these at a cheap price, I always pick it up. What's the worst that's gonna happen? I have a duplicate of an awesome card. Uh, this is from 2022 Throwback Thursdays, 89 Rookies. This is a Bryson Stott. Cool looking card there. Love those Throwback Thursdays. Don't pick them up as much as I did in the past, but they are cool. This is from Topps Chrome Black, which I didn't do any of this year. It's a Brandon Marsh, Brandon Marsh. Serial number to 199, refractor. I think they made parallels as well. I'm not positive on this, on this specific one, because I'm not real familiar with this product, at least this year's product. I didn't break any or anything. Anyway, Brandon Marsh, promising young player, has all-star potential. We'll see. Um, obviously, you got to do it on the field, but he's a gold glove caliber center fielder. He has that potential, and he's improved hitting-wise. Um, and he was a lot better with the Phillies last year than he was with the Angels. He doesn't have a lot of Phillies rookies. He's in like Topps Holiday. He's in Chrome Black. A few other products, but wanted to pick that one up for the collection and does have some nice shine. So happy to pick that up. Got a run on Bryce Harper's here from 2022 Finest. I believe this is a green. Number to 199. We got some sort of green and teal or something. Looks cool, nice and shiny. That one's numbered to 250. We got the blue refractor. That one's numbered to 150. They definitely added a lot more parallels and I wish they'd have just basic names. Some of these uh, parallels have like crazy multi names. They're just a little too long, but here's a nice blue one. I always like picking up finest refractors. This is a set, one of the few sets you actually would have done well if you pre-ordered. Um, Tops Chrome Gilded collection or gilded edition awesome looking product way too expensive to break at this point i think it came out this suggested retail was like 200 and they end up it's like last i saw there were six seven hundred dollars a box cards look really really nice unlike this some of this junk they've put out like sonic edition where you can get some parallels that look okay but it's mostly just the same cards these are different images and different colors. Ben Baller did something similar with different color chrome. Um, I didn't get any of that, but I will pick up some singles. Anyway, this is the Bryce Harper number to 99. Must have for the Harper collection. And then they did some Hall of Famers as well. So I picked up the Mike Schmidt. So to my fellow uh, either player or team collectors, check out uh, Gilded Collection. Singles are still pretty high, but they're <laughs> really tough to get out of a break anyway. So, but I think the prices have come down a little bit. Um, I mean, just off the top of my head, I've seen other uh, former players, guys like Johnny Bench. I know multiple Johnny Bench collectors and um, there's a bunch of other Hall of Famers. I'd love to pick up more of them, but the Schmidt is super sweet. I know some of my fellow Phillies collectors will be picking that up. And there's some autographs as well. Here's the JT Real Muto. Not sure exactly what uh, parallel this one is, but it's number to 50. But they look awesome. Really, really cool. So happy to add them. Let's see what else we got here. We got a rose gold mini diamond refractor, number to 75 of Greg Lazinski, Philly's fan favorite. And then a 
Topps Chrome Update Sapphire, Garrett Stubbs, serial number to 50. I know my boy Wesker Griff, gonna be jealous of that sucker. Garrett Stubbs. This guy's like a fan favorite type of guy too. Backup catcher, doesn't play a lot because JT Real Muto plays as many games as anyone on the catching position, but had some big moments last year, had a walk-off home run. Just like a super like excitable guy. You see him on all the post uh, game celebrations and such. They've done some mic'd ups with him and stuff. Just kind of like a fun player. Um, so that's a cool one there. And it's a cool looking card. So happy to get that. And then the two bigger cards. I mean, this one's not huge, but the one after it'll be huge. This is a, I believe again, rose gold mini diamond refractor serial number to 75. Richie Ashburn, beautiful looking card. And then the biggest card. There you go. The Richie Ashburn 2022 Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary Superfractor. Richie Ashburn. So you remembered one of one. Love to do as much of this run as possible, at least from the favorites, because um, it's a pretty big set. I uh, haven't seen a ton of the Philly Superfractors. I jumped on the Greg Lazinski one, got that one at a really affordable price. And I know I saw the John Cruck one went up very early on and I like him and hawed and then boom, it sold. And I was kind of disgusted that I missed out on it. I know, I believe the Andrew McCutcheon sold on eBay and I tossed a bid, but there's a lot of McCutcheon collectors. So I missed out on that. It might've been one other one, but the Richie Ashman got listed at one point. And I hit watch immediately and then it got pulled and I thought I didn't know what happened if it got sold on the side and I was kind of like, damn, I would love to have had a chance to bid on it. And then it went up uh, seven to 10 days ago again, immediately hit watch. And I actually had a few people reach out to be like, yo, uh, did you see this? And I was like, yeah, it's on the watch list. And I watched it like a hawk, made my bid and super excited to pick up the Richie Ashburn Superfractor. Um, of all the Superfractors in this set, this is one of the ones I would have wanted most. It's right there. Him, Harper, handful of others, but super, super cool. So obviously doesn't have a lot of Chrome products. Might be his first and only uh, Superfractor. Not positive about that, but super excited to add that one. And that is it for the mail day. Uh, a lot of good stuff, a lot of nice looking stuff, a lot of fun, super excited that baseball is almost here. Can't wait to see what 2023 has in store. Appreciate you guys watching. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Got a favorite set? Got a favorite card? Are you fired up for baseball? Let me know down below and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.